Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant logo reveal of Microsoft. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop. I have this logo file over here. You can easily get this logo from Google now as always all we need to do is we want this all things on separate layers so i'll choose my rectangle selection tool and then i'll select this hit ctrl x create a new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and we will follow this procedure for all of them so i'll hit ctrl x again new layer press ctrl shift v Con sorry make sure that you are selecting this layer hit ctrl x new layer press ctrl shift v then select this blue hit ctrl x create new layer press ctrl shift v and this text is on separate layer now select this double click on this one and type this over text here this is the blue so i'm gonna type blue this is red this is yellow and this is green perfect now save this photoshop file in your pc now go to the after effects and let's create a new composition we will call this as main animation width is 1920 height 180 frame rate is 30 seconds and duration i am gonna choose let's say 10 seconds only so delete this and type zero yep so duration is 10 seconds and background color is white then simply hit ok then choose create and guide option and hit titus affection now press ctrl i on keyboard to import our logo file i have this photoshop logo over here so select it import as instead of footage composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import and don't change anything over here so simply hit ok now double click on this logo file hit ctrl a to select all of them and then press ctrl c to copy go to main animation press ctrl v to paste it now move this in the middle of our composition now we need to change the size of each and every one so right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it parent with this null one select this null one press s and scale it down like this let's move this a little bit over here yeah now select this null one and simply hit delete we don't need that anymore and instead of quarter resolution i'm gonna choose full now because our animation is not that much heavy so before we start to animate i'm going to select this text and we will hide this because we will animate later and let's lock it now press ctrl r on your keyboard to create this grid and we will create one line over here for our reference now select all of them and by holding shift i'm gonna move it over here at the center of our composition zoom in and check out yeah now after that we need to start our animation so press p for position create one keyframe select zoom in a little bit let's move this a little bit downwards yeah this looks good to me now go to around 1.15 frames and again create another keyframe go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe now press u so we can see all the keyframes go over here to jump between these two keyframes press j for backward direction key for forward direction keyframe and again create another keyframe on rotation and let's make it one so we will get this kind of animation now go to the start select this red by holding shift i'll move this over here select this green by holding shift i'm gonna move this over here select this yellow by holding shift move this over here select this blue by holding shift move this over here now select all the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'm gonna move this over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation now after that right click new and create one null object like that now select all these layers and make it parent with this null 2 
now go to around over here and what we'll do let's go to the start and hit page down button two times move this over here with the help of open bracket again move page down button two times select this move this over here page down button two times move this over here zoom out a little bit and we will, can see we will get this alternations over here now at this point i'm gonna select this null press r for rotation create one keyframe now hit u again and go to around 3.15 frames and let's make complete one rotation like that now at this point i'm gonna select all of them and create one keyframe on position and go to around 5 point, let's say 515 frames and by holding shift i'm gonna move them over here like that select all the keyframes hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and one handle over here like this now so what i'm gonna do go to around three frames and move these keyframes over here hit page down button two times select this keyframe move this forward hit page down button two times select this keyframe move forward hit page down button two times select this keyframe and move forward so if you see we will get this kind of stuff now select this rotation keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift sorry move this handle over here and this handle over here like that so if you see this animation now we will get this kind of stuff so as you can see our this animation is done now we have to focus on our text animation so i'm enable my text let's move this over here press p for position create one keyframe hit u and go to uh, around this frame and select this text and again create one keyframe on position go to the start and by holding shift i'm gonna move this over here now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here like that now we will create one masking so i'm gonna choose my rectangle tool and i'm gonna create one mask like this select the shape layer hit enter and let's call it as mask yep now select this green and uh, move this time indicator after the last keyframe on this green now select this mask and go over here and press p for position create one keyframe or instead of that what you can do you can simply at this point make it apparent with this green like that so at this point i am going to move this over here and i am going to bring it down select this text and in track mat i am going to choose alpha inverted mat oh, sorry uh, select this and make alpha mat so if you see we will get this kind of stuff so if i see my full animation i am going to get this kind of stuff now select this mask go to the effect and presets panel and search for gaussian blur effect and simply double click on this effect and gaussian blur let's make it 40 yep so if you see now this is gonna be our animation now press f4 select all of them and make sure that you are going to enable this blur option so we will get some motion blur in our animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned